Hey, this is Adam Hickman from Foxhound Bee Company. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys our, uh, our extractor lineup. We are excited to have these Savan extractors in our store. And uh, we wanted to uh, shoot a video to show you some features of these. This first one that we're gonna talk about is our manual three frame tangential extractor. It will extract three frames at one time so that those can either be uh, three deep, three medium, or three shallow length trough frames. This one is a great uh, extractor for backyard beekeepers uh, because it's inexpensive, um, it's a small profile, it's easy to store, and it's uh, really easy to clean too. So if you're a backyard beekeeper and you have a few hives, this three frame manual uh, is a great extractor to, uh, to start with. This is not a extractor that will break on you, that you will get tired of using uh, because it just doesn't work well. These are uh, extremely well-made extractors. We have handled many extractors over the years and the Savan extractors are extremely well-made. They are not made in the United States, they're actually made in Turkey, but that doesn't mean that it's low quality. Uh, trust me that these are made extremely well. Very heavy gauge, heavy duty steel. It's stainless steel, there's no shortcuts on these. Let me show you some, some of the features on this extractor and explain uh, what a uh, tangential extractor is. So the first thing I'll talk about is the basket on the inside. So it's a stainless steel basket that you can wash with a pressure washer or a hose. Uh, it's not going to rust and it will actually hold uh, three frames all tangentially. So tangentially uh, means that the frames are basically on their side instead of on their, on their end. When you have it a tangential extractor, it does actually spin out honey extremely quickly, uh, uh, probably faster than a radial extractor, but you do have to go through the step of flipping the frame. So uh, this basket, it holds three frames and they go into the extractor just like this. When you do extract uh, tangentially, you have to remember to orient your frames the correct way. There actually is a wrong way to do this. Uh, this uh, basket will spin one way and uh, you want the, the honey to leave those cells very easily. And actually the cells on the frame, uh, they're not completely 90 degrees in horizontal. They're actually at an angle. So the way that I describe it and the way that I remember it is that the top bar on the, uh, the frame has to chase the bottom. So this, when you do spin this, you want to spin it that way so that the honey actually leaves the cells a lot easier rather than being pushed down into the cells. This extractor has uh, has two doors. The easiest one uh, to open is this side. It gives you access to every single frame. Uh, you can spin it both ways by hand so that you can get to each frame and pull it out. So when you do extract tangentially, you would extract one side and then you would flip it over and you would extract the other side as well. So that's the disadvantage of a tangential one, but it is very efficient, it works very quickly, uh, and it's very inexpensive compared to the larger radial extractors. And it's, it takes less room to, uh, to store it when you're not using it as well. So uh, I'll talk through a couple other features with this. Uh, it's completely stainless steel, heavy duty gearbox, um, and it's a manual crank. So when you do buy the extractor, it comes unassembled, but the only things that you have to do is you have to install the hand crank, which you don't need any tools. You can just uh, use your hand to, uh, to set the screw right here. So I'll show you, you can loosen it, take it off. You can store this inside when you're not using it. But when you do put it together, you just slide it on there and just screw that, uh, that screw into it. And then the legs, uh, it comes with three legs and you don't need any tools to install those either. Uh, you're just installing from here to the ground uh, and you just, uh, you just hand tighten um, each one of those six screws all the way around the legs. It works really well. Uh, I said that this extractor is very well made because it is. One thing that I look for, I've handled a lot of extractors over the years, and the legs on this extractor are heavy duty. They're very heavy, which is great for uh, stability. And the legs go all the way from the ground, all the way to the top. You'll see a lot of cheaper extractors, the legs only go up halfway or they go up to the bottom and that's it. The reason that's important is that when you are extracting uh, the honey, the, the bottle or the extractor will wobble a fair amount because the frames are uneven. And when you have a very heavy extractor like this, it is less likely to wobble. The, the feet on these extractors have holes in them as well, so that if you wanted to attach this to uh, a plywood board or pallet or something like that, you can just do that straight through those holes and then when you're done using it, you can, uh, you can back those screws out. The honey gate on this extractor, uh, it's metal. It is stainless steel just like everything else on here. Uh, and you, can, uh, you just hand tighten it and it has a gasket on the inside so that honey will stop dripping when you do close it and you do tighten it. This is this same valve that is on the full-size extractors, the 24 frame, uh, the small 24 frame full-size. 
uh, it's it's a great valve you won't be disappointed and it works extremely well some of the other features on this extractor it is manual and when you stop spinning the extractor the hand crank stops spinning as well so you don't have this unwieldy uh, hand crank spinning in the air as this uh, as this moves uh, this box has a ratchet in it so that when you uh, when you do spin it it just catches the gears in it and it takes basically three full spins of the handle to get it up to full speed. One feature is kind of hidden, a lot of people don't know this about these extractors, is that it has a brake in it. And a lot of people think this is the brake where you just kind of put your finger on it and slow it down. But it's a lot easier to use than that. Uh, it's actually kind of built like your old bicycle. You just back pedal basically. Back pedal the other way and, uh, and, the, and the basket will stop. So you can spin it, three spins, all the way up to full speed. And then if you want to stop it, you just you just spin it the other way and the basket will stop, which is really nice. Look, your, open this up, pull your frames out, spin them the other way. And just keep going. So it's a, a very, very well made extractor. You, will, you won't be disappointed in it. Hopefully you found that helpful and let us know if you have any questions and we are happy to help. Thank you.